so I have a little bit of time here, so I'm going to put together this quick synopsis of our meeting that we just had. I'm just uh, well, it's fresh in my mind, um, and I will still send you on Monday um, a video with um, some of the changes that we talked about. But I'm just going to um, send this one here at the end of the week, so you can. Um, have a little reminder of, of the meeting and then just what um, what we talked about and also just something to watch to keep getting oriented to the design three-dimensionally like this. So we'll fly around the living room here. So we've got um, a sectional layout of furniture that we um, are trying in here, which kind of lays out pretty nice for watching um, TV right there. We talked about uh, about the fireplace and getting rid of that mantle and doing maybe natural stone all the way to the ceiling. Um, we talked about the existing um, piece of furniture, the bookshelf. It, it would fit there, um, and we're looking for other places that it might fit in. Well, let's go down to the dining room here. Which I think we liked. Um, most things about this, we talked about maybe doing the butcher block uh, countertop right there. Um, we talked about a lot about this island area and putting, um, making this one block that comes all the way over with a pass through and doing maybe a special kind of material there. Maybe it's shiplap. There's lots of material options there. So this is the dining room area. Let's <clears throat> back into the kitchen. We're going to kind of do videos that just kind of move around the spaces. So as you watch them a couple times, they just become familiar. Um, and then as you think of things that you see that you'd like different, uh, just jot those notes down, send me screenshots. Let's go just around this island. storage on the back side with the push to open cabinets um, at 48 inch range which I'll send a link on Monday for that the coffee station with pantry next to it maybe pantry shelves underneath <clears throat> we talked about doing um, glass doors on these cabinets all the way to the top maybe it's still broken up with that articulation but then on the sides we'll do opaque cabinets down below on the uppers and then similar to what we did over here glass cabinet tops there and there as well as on the side side over here so glass tops there there and there this is a great little utility station you can have the mail drop inside this cabinet here we have the farmhouse sink with a dishwasher on this side with, uh, tall storage cabinets, which can either be spice racks that pull out or um, cookie sheets for the for baking. I think drawers like these are great for pots and pans, and we've got them next to the oven as well. They're, these are a little bigger than 15 inch right now. And let's go up and look at the bathroom. So real simple, just with a sink, this will be to make it still look really nice. We're going to put uh, make these glass doors to get natural daylight coming in there from outside, um, so it's not quite so dark. And we're going to do uh, an opaque glass door on the laundry room as well. <clears throat> so in the, inside the laundry room, we're going to add that utility sink and stack the dishwashers and then have the cabinet over here. We're going to move this um, tall uh, cleaning storage cabinet next to the two stacked washer dryers so we'll get that uh, just inside the garage is going to be the hot water tank and the water softener so i'm going to drop down and let's just turn the ceiling on so we'll move around down here inside with that
nice view out to the, the pool courtyard. We're really going to bring in a lot of natural light there and really make this courtyard feel like a part of this inside space by adding those big new sliding doors. We talked about matching this, doing a new door here that matches this one to tie that all together. I think that's a good idea. And I think doing um, blinds that pull down over the top of all these openings will be really nice, particularly later in the day. So you guys can watch movies and stuff in here while the sun's going down. Really helpful in the summertime. Um, talked about doing the, the TV there uh, for being able to watch, kind of a special place to watch um, shows during uh, meal times. Make it that a really fun place to eat together. And then this design we talked a lot about, um, just making this. Um, I think we came up some, with some great ideas here on how to bring this together into that more of a block that wraps with the little porthole through the block, which I think will just really help to organize this. And then yeah, doing a special material on this when it's so central, I think that'll just be a, a really nice, maybe, maybe it's some, a light colored wood just to kind of warm, warm things up, or, or maybe there's some other material ideas um, there. I'm gonna come in the front door again, just to kind of see the, the entry. This pantry gone is really nice, being able to come straight into the kitchen. And then we talked about this being an, an enclosed media center. So maybe pushed open doors so it feels more like the that block, but that we would hide in there all the electronics, um, central area for Wi-Fi and controlling um, video to the TV and sound um, for the house. We talked about maybe doing speakers in the ceiling so you get really good sound in here, but you don't have any clutter. And also doing um, speakers outside it could be tied into that sound system. Oops. Okay, so hopefully that um, just gives us a little bit of a record of our meeting along with all the notes I took, which I'm not looking at right now. So if I missed anything, I will catch those on Monday. I'm going to go to look at the floor plan view really quick again. So the plan view of the whole thing, how it fits in with the house and Kind of look at each space and plan view here. I think we want to start showing furniture out here too. So right now you're coming in and out of this door here. The rest are that's fixed and fixed, and we're coming in in and out of this door here, and that's fixed. And there's other ways to do sliding doors, but that's the most cost-effective way. And um, I think functionally would work pretty good for our layout. I don't think we need to do the stacking panels or anything, but that's an option if we, if we want to look at that. Like if we wanted this whole door to be able to open up. It'd also be fairly easy to do, um, although the door gets thicker if we do this, but have two sliding panels. So more of that could open up to the pool. That's, that's an option. In these rooms, which are changing, we'll get the new layout on Monday. This room's not changing the layout. What that outside patio space starts to feel like. Also, get the roof on soon. So you can see the house with the roof on.
All right. Thanks. Great meeting today.